Hello everyone, new video about the pet system for RPG Builder. I'm going to be explaining the new update I made this morning, which is a pet panel. But before that, quickly, uh, I would like to say a huge thank you to Robert Wiget, who is my first patron ever. So for those who don't know, if you're not in the Discord, um, well, you should join the Discord because we're building a community there and there are some very nice people already. Um, but yesterday I announced that I made a Patreon. It's obviously not something I'm expecting anyone to join and I was actually not expecting anyone to join before a long time but Robert was you know very kind so thank you, thanks again to you. Um, but uh, it's not something I'm relying on at all obviously but I, I see this as a way for me um, if a few people decide to you know start supporting me there to have uh, more time to dedicate on both this channel and my Unity tools. So um, that could be very neat. So now let's get into it. So the pet panel, it's uh, only going to be visible if you have a, an active pet, you know, at least one. So let's spawn a mage. And as you see, as soon as I spawn this um, mage pet, uh, we see that bottom left now we can see this uh, pet panel. Um, the pet panel itself is not, you know, um, anything fancy. It's not reinventing anything. It has uh, two, well, four different options, but split in two different parts. The first part is for the movement of your pet. So as you can see, we have follow and stay. So, you know, pretty straightforward. As of now, the pet is following us. If I click stay, it's going to just stay there. If I click follow again, it's going to come back to us. And for the combat part, we have two states. One is defend and the other one is aggressive. Once again, very straightforward. Defend means that as of right now, you see that he's not attacking this enemy. He would only attack an enemy if the enemy attacks him or attacks me. Um, so that's pretty much what defend is. But as soon as I click aggressive, you see that he gets in combat mode and start attacking this uh, enemy. Below that, we have a health bar. This health bar is actually a combination of all your pet's health. And it's showing you the current, you know, um, current health and maximum health so you can have an idea if all your pets are dying you're gonna have an idea of this pretty quick and below that you have a text uh, so this text is just showing you how many pets you currently have active and um, how many pets in total you can currently spawn so as of now we have six as a quick reminder um, we do have six for now so if you go in your character panel you can see there are two summons human count six the reason we can spawn 6 is because we have this training staff which is giving us plus 5 summon counts and on top of that if you go to the stats um, module and you look for uh, the summon count stat which we are using you know to increase uh, this number uh, the base value is 1 so it's a total of 6 um, so that's pretty pretty much it uh, if I spawn my warriors now you can see that um, no, they, will, they are aggressive right now, so they will immediately look for a target. I'm going to despawn this dummy target now because I don't want them to fight it forever. Um, and we have a mage over there. So I'm going to put them back to defend. They are going to keep following me. And I want them, to, I want to show you uh, what happens. You see, so the mage attacked me. They did not aggro the mage initially, but as soon as the mage attacked me, they started attacking him. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I wanted to show you for this video. I hope you like how it works. It's obviously nothing crazy, like I said. Maybe in the future, I'm going to give the option to control individual pets and trigger some actions on them. We will see. So for now, that's how this works. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Join the Discord and see you in the next video.